what's up YouTube and if you're on my other social networks like my Twitter my Google Plus and them social networks I just named thank you for watching this video I make this video short sweet and straight to the point this is basketball motivation 106 if you're on my YouTube channel and the title of the video is going to be what is your why for why you play basketball and let, let alone this is life skills also too first and foremost as a basketball player you need to constantly ask yourself why do you play the game or why do you love the game or what do you want from the game this is critical questions because basketball is not an easy sport and it's on right when you start to go up to higher levels if you dominate in the high school be content be proud of the work that you have done but be thinking further ahead to what's ahead of your basketball career if you really want to play seriously my why to get personal with y'all and see see y'all see my testimony to be honest with you was always just to earn the respect of myself and then of others because like every time I play basketball or when I play basketball even now when I play basketball people look at me and be like yeah if you don't ever, if you didn't even know me you'll look at me and be like well he don't look like a basketball player so you probably be in a position where you be probably would pre judge me and say he's a football player that's just playing recreational and then I kind of like that I kind of like to be under the radar when I play and my biggest reason what I really wanted from the game of basketball is just respect from my from myself first and foremost because I wanted to prove to myself that to leave football after tearing my ACL and then change completely over to a game in which I was familiar with and then be able to play at a high level because a lot of people can't play at college because they're not humble enough to accept their role and then they're not really coachable and they really won't sacrifice for something they really say they love. But my testimony plan, four years of college basketball, it was just really respect for me. I prepared myself to be dominant and play at the highest level, but it wasn't really for me. So when I look at look back at my whole college career, I feel like I earned the respect of everybody I played with. Like I tell people all the time, you don't gotta like me, you don't even gotta know me, but you gonna respect me when I get done playing because you can't you cannot sit here and say I don't play the game the right way. Even when I play pickup, I still be trying to talk and let my teammates know what's happening, what they can't see. For instance, um a screen and roll. I yell I let them know which side the screen coming from three times. I still constantly try to box my man out. I try to play the correct way because that's all you really have. You know what I mean? That's what your habits depend on is how you play. And also, too, what your why is going to really reveal what, what is your true passion for and desire for the game. If you say you love the game, you be like, I love it unconditionally. You're going to work hard for to accomplish what you want from the game. And if you say you just like the game, you just going to play pickup. You're just going to sit here and just play only when you want to so make sure you know your why players why you do what you do my name is Walter Brady thank you for watching the video if you're on my YouTube I appreciate the com um, a comment any questions or concerns hit me up through YouTube my Facebook my Twitter and all that good stuff I have an Instagram as well follow me on that and um make sure you know what your why is while you play and the dislikes is welcome too because I know people will be disliking and giving their honest assessments in my videos. So until next time, get better or get worse. I'll talk to y'all later.